All hail King Reigns. All hail King Reigns. Reigns is that fucking dude. Reigns is doing the creator's work. That just rolls off the tongue. I'm going to say it one more time. All hail King Reigns. That was awesome what happened last night. What happened last night was awesome. That main event was decent. And we'll talk about that. But everything else on the show was not that good. That backstage segment involving Paul Heyman. Now that shit was good. That was some good shit. Everything else, missable. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's get into this. So here's the SmackDown review from November 12th, 2021. So we kick the show off with six a six-woman tag match. Wow. Very, very interesting. Not really. Who gives a shit? Um, Sasha Banks, Naomi, and Aaliyah versus Baszler, Natalia, and Shotzi Blackheart. And Aaliyah won. So I forgot who she pinned, but she won. I believe it was Natalia. Who gives a shit? Um, and then Sonya Deville came out uh, moments later. She gave the news to Aaliyah that she's been removed from the SmackDown Women's Survivor Series team. Who gives a shit? Then we had um, Shinsuke Nakamura and Rick Boogs versus Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo, a.k.a. Los Levadores. And my boys... Angel and Humberto win. So I, lo I love that shit. For whatever reason, I'm getting a feeling and a vibe. I'm sensing a feeling and a vibe that Shinsuke Nakamura might be released in the next round of releases that happen. I wouldn't be shocked if we see Nakamura being released. That's just me. Then um, we had Charlotte Flair... She's out next. She cut a promo. Who gives a shit? Out comes Tony Storm. She interrupted it. And Tony Storm wanted a piece of Charlotte. Charlotte was like, nah, bitch, not tonight. Then we had Jeff Hardy versus Sami Zayn. Hardy was red hot, man. The people in Virginia, they loved him. This Virginia crowd in North, for I mean, in, in North Folk, Virginia, they loved Hardy. They fucking loved Jeff Hardy. And when he hit the swan time, they went fucking absolutely ballistic, man. Like, that crowd popped. Um, And now Zayn is removed. So I don't know who can replace Sami Zayn. Maybe uh, Ridge Holland. Maybe. I don't know. Speaking of Ridge, we had a backstage segment with him and Cesaro. Um, and so basically Seamus will be back next week. Um, and it seems like they're trying to form a new version of the bar involving Seamus and, uh, Ridge Holland, which would be kind of fucking awesome. I have a feeling though that Cesaro probably will get released as well. I think, like I said before, with the, uh, next round of cuts coming, ne the next round of releases, I'm pretty sure that... Nakamura and Cesaro will be released. And then then the main event, Roman Reigns versus King Woods. It basically ended in, in the no contest. It was supposed to get involved. They beat the, the uh they beat down King Woods. They used the uh, steel steps and all that. Um and then they crowned Roman Reigns as king. And that was fucking awesome. That was an awesome fucking visual. And they give the 
um, the number one sign. Number ones. And that was SmackDown. But I have a feeling that they're probably going to save this match for day one on New Year's Day. I do believe it's probably going to be Xavier Woods versus Roman Reigns for the Universal Championship. You got to have Reigns involved in something. Um, so they could very well keep it to that. And it probably will happen around that time, time frame anyway. People have to realize, remember, there is no TLC. After Survivor Series, that's it. There's no TLC. So they can either wait and do the match um, on New Year's Day, day one, or they could possibly give us that on TV, get away on TV uh, sometime in um, December. Maybe a, maybe a, a week before Christmas. I think that, that would be fitting. Something like that. So, so on that note, thank you guys for watching. Please hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe for more videos. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Also, don't forget, I'll be doing a review for Full Gear. I am very excited for Full Gear. I think it's going to be a very good show. A very good pay-per-view. But, I just hope that it's not going to be four hours. I hope it's not going to be four hours. Hopefully, it'll be three and a half hours. I'm out. Peace.